Good morning, Spark Nation. I'm Maritza. And I'm Janelle. And we're here with your daily announcements. Middle schoolers, mark your calendars now for the spooky social on Friday, October 27th from 4.30 to 6.30 in the lower comments. Only students who have met the 90% PBIS attendance goal for September will be able to attend attend the dance for free. You must have your IDs to attend. Metro will be selling snacks during the events and they'll be dancing, socializing, a movie and game room, and even a slime making station. The AWCPA deans want you to know that a lot of students, both middle and high school, have swapped out their own t-shirts for a school loaner, but they forgot to swap back at the end of the day, which is leaving a lot of laundry in the dean's office. So if you had to swap your shirt for a loaner, you need to come to the dean's office and swap the loaner for your shirt. If you don't, your shirt will be bagged up and donated to charity. So please, if you got a loaner shirt, bring it back and get your shirt back today. Did you know that the AWCPA high schoolers have the opportunity to be part of a swimming team? AWCPA competes with Aurora Central and the preseason is beginning. Starting now, the team meets on Wednesdays and Fridays from 3.30 to 5 at Aurora Central High School pool. Bring your swimming clothes, goggles, and towels and be ready to get all to get wet, make a splash party. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Kimberly. And I know a lot of people don't like wearing their AT, but here are some reasons why you should wear your AT. Hi, I'm Mr. Bird. I teach eighth grade literacy over in room 126 here. Yeah, welcome. And I think one of the things that is useful about IDs is it's a pretty quick way to just make sure we know who's supposed to be here and who's not. A lot of times there might be people who we're not sure if they are high schoolers or if they are young adults out from the world or people from other schools and it really is kind of hard to tell sometimes. So it's really nice to just to be able to have a quick system for knowing that, you know, knowing who's here, who's not supposed to be here. Because, you know, same thing with adults, we're supposed to have IDs too. So if I see somebody with a school ID, I know, oh, it might be a substitute, or it might be somebody from the district, or it might be somebody who's here for some kind of an educational thing. But if I ever see an adult without an ID, it looks really suspicious and it's a little sketchy because um, there's so many people in the building, you might not know them all. So I think it's really nice to just be able to think, hey, do I need to follow up and see what's going on? Or do I know this person? Um, yeah, it's a big one. All right, good morning. My name is Jason Daniels, and uh, I'm lead of security here for AWCPA. It's really important to wear your IDs because first things first, we want to have a safe and secure environment for our staff and our students. We want to make sure you're aware, or we're aware, of who you are, as well as everyone else be aware of who you are. Another good reason to wear your ID is to simply be proud of who you are. You know what I mean? You carry your name, be proud. Wear it proudly on your chest. It's like a plate of armor, you know what I mean? Or a shield. That's your shield. Um, the lanyards themselves have school pride incorporated into them. You'll see Spartan Nation on them. I think that's a really big piece too. So just be proud of who you are. Rock those IDs and get it done. Appreciate you. Personal hygiene kits are available from Ms. Saba in room 200. If you need items for your cycle, self-care, or personal hygiene, come get a kit. The kits are free to students. Don't forget to order your U books soon. They are only $30 and they're going quickly. See Mr. Ryman in room 144 or Ms. Arbero in the main office to order yours today. Prices will be going up after winter break. And speaking of fall break, we don't have school on Thursday and Friday of this week, but that doesn't mean we can't finish the first quarter strong. Make sure you get all those missing and late assignments in by Wednesday. You got this, Spartans. And that is all for today and this week. We'll see you after fall break. Make it a great day, Spartans.